Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. Um, tonight we're going to go over the apology, or as I interpret it, troll, of Mark Hamill. What recently happened over the weekend was Mark Hamill posted something on Twitter. It was a picture that somebody did in Photoshop that showed Luke, Lando, Carrie, Fisher, Leia, Han, Han Solo on the Falcon together. And it said, Star Wars, what could have been? And Mark Hamill tweeted, a hashtag missed opportunities. Great tweet. It really was. Good on you, Mark. Then people went after him. Calling him an alt-right Nazi. It was stupid. They Some of the stuff they said was very heinous crap. And so he posted another tweet that basically was a callback. Or a walkback or whatever. People were upset that I posted a picture of me, Billy D. Williams and whatnot. And I looked at this tweet. At first, my outrage was that he had apologized. But then I reread the tweet, and I looked at it closely, and I realized something. The picture is not the same. It has the animated Joker, whom he voiced, in it. And he purposefully misspelled Carrie's name and Harrison's name. He switched the first letter. Of Harrison over to Carrie and Carrie over to Harrison, so it was Harry and Carrison. And I'm like, this guy has known these people for over 40 years. I do not think he would misspell their names. Not on purpose, not even by accident. You see, over the years, if you develop a friendship with somebody, most things you know about them become second nature, including the spelling of their names. You would never misspell their names. You wouldn't type. You wouldn't do a typo. Besides, on a keyboard, C and H are very far away from each other, so you can't. That wouldn't be a typo. You just psychologically, I don't think it would happen. Now, and I figured. When I saw this, it's like, he's not apologizing, he's trolling. Now, yes, it could possibly be that he is indeed apologizing, and it could possibly be a typo. I'm not saying that that is not a possibility. I am simply saying that my interpretation of this is that he is trolling instead of apologizing. He's making a tweet that looks like an apology but may actually be a troll to all those idiots out there who attacked him. These people, some of these people were blue checks, meaning celebrity status and official, official accounts. And that is horrible, man. The fact that these blue checks, who are cele mostly celebrities and stuff, that go after him, people like Pablo Hidalgo, who actually worked for Lucasfilm and shit, going after him, and frickin' Chuck Wendig, the failed Star Wars writer and very idiotic SJW shill fool, goes after him. They're basically all saying, this Star Wars trilogy wasn't meant for you. Um, I believe they called the whole thing the Skywalker Saga, pal. I believe all of you don't realize that it's called the Skywalker Saga. So yeah, it kind of is his trilogy as well. You know, Luke Skywalker. I mean, his name is in the last movie. His title. Not that I agree with that, but anyway. I digress. I honestly do not think that Mark Hamill apologized. I looked at it. I saw the outrage as it happened. I saw the tweet when it went up, and then I paid closer attention, 
Yes, I'll admit, I was outraged when I thought he apologized. I literally went off on it. It's like, why the heck are you apologizing for something, for having an opinion, or speaking that you all you wished is that you could have had the old guard back into the Millennium Falcon for one last go? You don't apologize for that stuff. You never apologize to these people. They will eat you alive. Yeah, I posted stuff like that. But then I realized, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Something's not right about this tweet. And so, yeah, I deleted those tweets because I was wrong. And then I tweeted, I'm like, wait. Are you trolling these fools? Good on you, man. Good on you. So, yeah. You don't misspell a friend you knows you've known for 40 years names on purpose. You don't even do it on accident. I have people whose names are pretty tough to spell when you first learn them. But then you learn it over the years as you develop this relationship. You can get their names like that. You can remember their spelling easily. Second nature, like I said. So yeah. Mark Hamill, if you ever see this video, and if it does turn out that your walkback tweet or whatever people are saying it is, apology tweet, is a troll to these idiots who attacked you for no reason other than the fact that you had an opinion and a vision that you wished to have fulfilled, good on you, man. I loved you as Luke Skywalker in the original trilogy. And I think what they did to you in this sequel trilogy was very wrong. Luke Skywalker wouldn't have gave up like that. Luke Skywalker would have persevered and he would have stood against what the First Order had become and what the First Order did. They, they broke your character in a very horrible way. So yeah, Mark Hamill, I'm with him, man. I don't agree with everything he says on his Twitter account, but when it comes to him being Luke Skywalker, I stand with him, and I will always stand with Luke Skywalker, because he is a real Jedi. That's all I got to say on this. If you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment, go right ahead. I enjoy feedback on my videos. It helps my page grow. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. Um, spread the love if you feel it's a good idea to. If you want to share this video, I encourage you share it. Absolutely share it. If you don't want to, that's your choice. I don't mind. But yeah, please, give me a thumbs up if you do. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz, man. And woman, and all you others in between. Take it easy. Have a good night. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and I'll talk to you all on the next video. Have a good one.